Hey everyone, you're listening to another episode of Tutia Bruja and Vex Carlos. And for today's episode, I'm really wanting to set the record straight and really have a pep talk with all my baby witches, even my witches who have been practicing a long time. I think we all still need this reminder. Do not take everything that you read on the internet at face value. We are very fortunate in a lot of ways to have the internet. I know that that's been something we've discussed so many times on this show, but I think that it also needs to be mentioned that it is a huge disservice, the amount of misinformation that is going out, and it's just making claims that aren't real. And I'm not here to tell people their history and what is accurate and what isn't accurate and this and that or whatever, but I do also want it to be known that individuals make up the history at times that seems the most accurate to the narrative they're trying to tell. And you know, I think that with any type of mystic person, if you are picking their brain and asking about stuff, you need to pay them, you know, because I think that is gained information. First of all, that's gained information that they have made the efforts to learn. It's important to mention we should think and we should research And we should logically be sure that we know what we're talking about because you can't claim history, you know, that doesn't, doesn't pertain to you. I think that that's damaging and it creates a false narrative that there's an ownership, I guess, of something. And, you know, cultural appropriation is a very real and big problem. 100%. I'm not here to say it's not, but sometimes we get so worried about who is allowed in and who isn't allowed in that we don't also incorporate how the diaspora has also made these traditions their traditions and the blood quantum and all that bullshit that we get from the colonizer. Someone who I really value is Melissa at Temperance Home and Bar. And in case she isn't already an angel on earth, she's doing on election day, she is doing tarot readings. And some of the proceeds are going to Raices, which is an organization that helps out, you know, immigrant children and adults. Uh, for the children, they typically find lawyers and legal representation. And for the adults, you know, they help pay the bonds to get them out and help them get back to, you know, their lives and their family. And so please support Melissa at Temperance Home and Bar. That's a really amazing cause. And I am so glad and grateful that I know her and she does amazing things like this all the time. The information to follow is in the show notes. Let's get back into the episode. So the book that I was recommended to read, you know, the deck that everyone knows is the Rider Waite Smith. And Pamela Coleman Smith is never credited. And she's the one who illustrated it. You know, she was a black woman. She was a Afro-Caribbean woman. If we're going to tell a history, then maybe we should tell a complete history. Food for thought. So that book, the information to check it out is in the show notes. It is called Pamela Coleman Smith, The Untold Story. It's written by Stuart R. Kaplan. And I think that it would be a great service to every tarot reader out there to pick up this book and really to learn more about a woman who really created the heart and soul of this deck that set the standard for tarot, who basically just disappeared into obscurity. Please check out the book. Thank you for listening to this episode of Tutia Bruja. Keep supporting the show. I love being able to talk witchy stuff. I too sometimes fall victim to the misinformation on the internet. And I mean, in order to be stronger practitioners, I think that we really just need to think clearly and do research. All right. So check out the podcast and how to support the podcast. First of all, my website, it's bexbycaston.com. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. It's bexbycaston. Follow the podcast at Tutia Bruja. On my website, there's a tab. If you want to get involved with the show, suggest a topic. I give away stuff all the time. Like I'm giving away pasties periodically. If you follow my social media, I'm also giving away stickers. Yeah. All right. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your time and that you are willing to hear me bitch about magic stuff. (laughs) Thanks. Bye.